Imagine a platform where your stable coins not only preserve value, but also unlock access to money market funds, investment grade bonds, and US government securities, all facilitated with the precision and security of blockchain technology. Welcome to Ondo Finance, a decentralized finance protocol specifically crafted to democratize access to institutional grade financial products and services by leveraging the power of tokenization. Ondo stands at the forefront of bridging the traditional financial world with the blockchain ecosystem, offering tokenized versions of real world assets. This innovation makes such assets accessible and tradable on decentralized platforms, opening new doors for investors to diversify their portfolios and tap into markets previously out of reach, all while benefiting from the inherent security and transparency blockchain technology offers. This unique strategy not only provides exposure to tangible assets, but also addresses the critical challenges of sustainability and regulatory compliance, which have historically hindered the DeFi space. In doing so, Ondo distinguishes itself from its counterparts. Stay tuned, because in this video, we're diving deep into the heart of Ondo. We'll explore its innovative features, the vibrant ecosystem it nurtures, the performance of the Onto token, and what the future holds for the platform in 2024 and beyond. Let's dive right in. Ondo Finance was co-founded by former Goldman Sachs employees Pinku Surana and Nathan Allman in March 2021, focusing on improving DeFi yields. Drawing inspiration from their experience in traditional finance, they sought to merge Ondo with the innovative world of blockchain technology. In August 2021, they launched their first product, Ondo Vaults, a structured finance protocol on Ethereum. Following the launch, investors were allowed to choose either downside protection or enhanced returns when providing liquidity to decentralized exchanges. Initially, Ondo Finance carved its niche into DeFi space with a protocol based on Ethereum, offering liquidity as a service. This service facilitated liquidity exchanges between protocols, addressing a critical need in the ecosystem. However, with the DeFi market's dynamics shifting, marked by declining yields and a decrease in total value locked, Ondo recognized an opportunity in the growing interest towards real-world assets. In response, Ondo pivoted towards the tokenization of RWAs, aiming to bridge the gap between off-chain assets and on-chain opportunities. This move opened up new investment avenues with a nominal management fee of only 0.15% annually. So, how does Ondo function? The platform is structured around two core divisions, an asset management arm that focuses on creating and managing tokenized financial products, and a technology division dedicated to DeFi protocol solutions, where these products can be introduced. Ondo, operating across both segments, champions financial inclusivity by broadening access to RWAs on-chain. A distinctive innovation by Ondo is the introduction of risk-isolated vaults. These vaults are designed to effectively mitigate risk, allowing lenders to set their preferences for fund usage, collateral types, and loan-to-value ratios. This framework aims to provide stability amidst market volatility, catering to both fixed and variable yield depositors seeking stable returns or the chance for higher earnings, respectively. Another standout feature is Ondo's innovative subscription mechanism. This approach enables liquidity providers to take part in either fixed yield or variable yield positions through a subscription model, balancing the two within each vault from the start. It secures position for fixed yield providers while offering leveraged opportunities for those in variable yield positions. To market service launch, Ondo introduced four unique vaults, highlighting combinations like USDC, USDT, DAI against ETH, and an ETH against ALCX pair. This diverse offering underscored the platform's commitment to providing a range of investment options to its user base. Understanding the inherent risks in DeFi, Ondo has placed a strong emphasis on security and compliance. The platform has undergone thorough security audits by respected firms such as PeckShield, Certic, and QuantStamp, ensuring a robust and secure environment for its users. 
Ondo Finance unfolds a suite of groundbreaking products, anchoring its position in the DeFi ecosystem. At the forefront is Flux Finance, a decentralized lending protocol derived from the Compound V2 framework. Flux operates as an on-chain treasury repurchase marketplace, enabling users to both borrow and lend stablecoins. It distinguishes itself with extended functionality that accommodates permissionless USDC transactions and permissioned UOSG assets. Mirroring Compound's peer-to-peer -peer model, Flux enables over-collateralized borrowing and lending, acting as a bridge for retail investors to tap into institutional-grade Ondo offerings previously beyond their reach. Among its novel products is the US Dollar Yield Token, a tokenized note anchored in short-term US treasuries and bank demand deposits. USDY is designed to offer institutional and international investors a compliant, interest-bearing vehicle for USD stablecoin exposure. Central to Ondo's ethos is the fusion of US treasury yields with blockchain technology, exemplified by the OUSG fund. Tokens of OUSG embody various share classes within this exclusive fund, invested solely in short-term US treasuries. Moreover, Ondo introduces the OMMF, a security token pegged to the USD and backed by US money market funds. OMMF token holders benefit from interest accrual in the form of additional tokens, a privilege reserved for accredited investors and qualified purchasers. Nevertheless, Flux Finance opens a gateway for retail investors to engage with these tokens. Ondo simplifies the investment process, allowing users to effortlessly convert their USDC into fund products. Upon depositing USDC, users are instantly allocated corresponding fund tokens in their wallets, and the platform facilitates the conversion of USDC to USD via Coinbase. Subsequently, it purchases U.S. government bond ETFs through brokers and Clearstreet as the qualified custodian. The income generated from these investments is reinvested, enabling automatic compounding of users' earnings. Importantly, the platform ensures liquidity, permitting users to redeem their USDC at any moment. Upon redemption, the fund tokens are burned and users are reimbursed in USD. Now, let's spotlight a key player in the Ondo finance ecosystem, the Ondo token. Ondo acts as the backbone of governance for the Ondo DAO and the innovative Flux Finance protocol. The Ondo token empowers its holders with voting rights, allowing them to have a say in vital protocol decisions. From setting market parameters to selecting which assets to support, Ondo token holders are at the heart of the platform's evolution. This democratization of decision-making underscores the decentralized ethos Ondo Finance stands for, ensuring that the protocol remains responsive to its community's needs and aspirations. Market dynamics have shown a notable uptrend for Ondo, especially after Ondo Finance expanded its RWA tokenization services into new markets, cementing its status as a front-runner in tokenized securities. However, Ondo Finance's innovative strides are not without challenges. Tokenizing real-world assets and integrating them into the blockchain ecosystem encounters a myriad of legal and regulatory hurdles. Within this nascent framework, there's an inherent risk of facilitating illegal financial activities, such as money laundering. Further complicating matters is the manipulation risk associated with off-chain data prior to its blockchain integration. The potential for fraudulent activities, including the bribery of auditors, inadequate KYC procedures, and other deceitful practices presents a tangible concern. Even with data securely recorded on the blockchain, the threat of wrongdoing at the off-chain level persists, largely due to the absence of a robust legal framework or authoritative entity to oversee validation audits and KYC processes for asset tokenization. Moreover, the industry's lack of standardized procedures for asset liquidation and auditing, particularly in cross-border contexts, raises issues regarding borrower creditworthiness and the availability of local liquidators. As the volume of lent capital increases, so too does the risk of encountering non-performing 
or defaulted assets that defy easy liquidation. With that said, let's look at Ondo's 2024 roadmap and see what it has in store for us. The Ondo Finance 2024 roadmap is structured into three strategic phases, each tailored to deepen the integration and utility of tokenized assets on the blockchain, while simultaneously tackling the broader intricacies of the financial sector. Phase 1 sets the foundation, focusing on the widespread adoption and seamless integration of tokenized cash equivalents, a frontier already explored by Ondo. The initiative aims to broaden its ecosystem through strategic partnerships with leading Layer 1 and Layer 2 protocols, thereby extending the reach of their tokenized offerings. Innovations such as rebasing and accumulating token versions are being developed to cater to a variety of user preferences. Moreover, Ondo is enhancing token utility and cross-chain interoperability with the introduction of tools like the Ondo Bridge and Ondo Converter, marking a significant leap towards fluid asset movement across blockchain networks. Phase 2 signals a bold expansion beyond the realm of cash equivalent, venturing into the tokenization of other publicly traded securities. This phase is poised to tackle the prevailing challenges of liquidity and infrastructure that currently hinder the widespread tokenization of securities on public blockchains. Through pioneering efforts and strategic innovations, Ondo aims to dismantle these barriers, facilitating easier access and broader adoption of tokenized securities. Phase 3, while shrouded in a degree of mystery, outlines an expansive vision for the tokenization of a diverse spectrum of assets, extending well beyond cash equivalents and publicly traded securities. This phase dreams big, aiming to transpose various traditional financial functions and assets onto the blockchain. The strategy involves a hybrid approach, leveraging both centralized and decentralized protocols to deliver institutional-grade solutions, thus painting a future where traditional and digital finance converge seamlessly. With its eyes set on creating a comprehensive on-chain financial ecosystem, Ondo Finance is not just innovating within the product development sphere, but also spearheading ecosystem expansion and infrastructural advancements. This visionary roadmap positions Ondo as a potential catalyst for the mass adoption of tokenization services, redefining the essence of finance on public blockchains and unlocking unprecedented opportunities in the digital age. That's all for today's video. If you found our video informative, please like the video, subscribe to our channel, and press the bell icon to get updates on all our future videos. What project would you like us to cover next? Let us know in the comments below.